cover for calendar and branch. So for this chapter, we will cover on allowance. So in this task 8.1a, we are going to cover on fixed allowance. So allowance has a few types. We have fixed allowance and then we have uh, variable allowance. So this allowance also have different method on the calculation. So we will go through one by one. So in this task 8.1a, we will do on the fixed allowance. So to create allowance also similar with calendar and also branch, which you have to go to tools. Then under general maintenance, you have to choose on allowance. Now, by default, we already created for you a fuse allowance. This one according to according to general allowance that each company needed. And then <clears throat> what we're going to do on this task is we're going to edit the existing allowance that already given. So for the first one we want to edit is on the petrol. So we highlight petrol, then click on edit. So what we want to edit is for the code. On the code here, we were not using petrol, but we changed to travel. And then you look at it, the second one description is travel and petrol allowance. Apply this allowance changes to related employee allowance. So if let's say you already set all this allowance to your employee, so you can tick this one and automatically it will be applied to all employee that you already assigned after we have done edit. But since this is the first one we want to edit and we not yet assigned to any of the employee, so we don't need we don't need to tick for this supply this allowance changes to related employees allowance. And then under each allowance setting have two parts which is setting and also formula. If setting, you can set for start period and end period. For example, these employees are able to claim on the allowance of travel. So we allow them to, uh, to claim this allowance for how many months? How many years? So for example, if let's say uh, follow our auditor say only can able to claim for two years. So you can start the period and end period within two years. So this one is depend on your company policy. And then are uh, these allowance need to contribute for EPF, tax, so, so EIS and also HRDF? If yes, you just tick for yes. Alright? Because here as you can see by default it's already checked for you because if you follow the rules by government allowance need to contribute for EPF tax and also so so now tax exempted rules for the tax exempted rule, you can choose under petrol allowance, traveling, traveling allowance, or toll payment. So this one, for the for the exempted, is allowed until up to six thousand for the tax exempted. So for the tax exempted, allow us to claim for the petrol allowance, traveling, and also toll for six thousand. And then if you go to the formula, if let's say this travel calculation are using formula you can choose the formula code at the bottom here but for the first one on the travel is not related with the formula so we just ignore and then click on save now allowance updated successfully click on continue then the second allowance is shift shift also we want to edit so we highlight shift and then click on the edit button the one that we want to change is shift 400 so we want to fix for the shift is 400 ringgit so this one under setting we don't need to change anything because it will contribute EPF tax so, so and everything and then there's no tax exempted rules we go to the formula for the formula as you can see on the code we even know this one is 400 ringgit fixed amount so for the shift is 400 so we don't need to choose any of the variable here. So once we're done, click on save. Allowance update successfully continue. So we have done edited two allowance. So not necessary for you to use the one given by the system. You still can edit and make the amendment related to your company need. 
So we have done for the task 8.1a. For the next task, you will learn how to assign all the allowance to the employee.